So G-Skill sent out a press release on the 19th of December with this picture in it. Naturally, my initial reaction was to freak the math out. But pictures on the internet could have been planted there by the dishonest media, right? I've been told that RGB RAM, if not impossible, is impractical due to the signal integrity issues that already exist with even single LED color high-speed computer memory. So I demanded proof. I immediately sent them an email asking to be the first to showcase their groundbreaking entrant into the RGB product arena. And it's here. The Trident Z RGB memory from G-Skill. The Essentials Kit from Cable Mod gives you everything needed to give your rig a professionally sleeved look. Check it out at the link in the video description. Okay, so here it is on my usual X99 Deluxe 2 test bench. By default, out of the box, it comes with this kind of rainbow wave effect that IMO looks dope AF, but it's not synchronized with any of the other lighting in your system or even synchronized between the memory sticks installed in the system. So considering then that there are five individually addressable RGB zones along each of the modules, it would be a crying shame if we limited ourselves to just that, wouldn't it? So let's kick things up a notch. Trident Z RGB modules can be controlled a couple of ways. You can use ASUS Aura to synchronize their RGB lighting with the rest of your system, or you can use G-Skill's own software, which I've obtained an early copy of on the condition that I don't show the interface since it's not yet final. And on the subject of non-final software, X99, Z170, AMD Ryzen chipsets, and motherboard manufacturers other than ASUS will be supported soon, TM, but they don't work yet. Hence the swap out to the Maximus 9 code. All right, so now that we're rocking a compatible motherboard, we get to play around with all the different options in G-Skill software. So let's try some of these modes then, shall we? Damn, there are a lot of cool settings in here. So you can configure different solid colors. You can set up any one of a ton of different canned animations. There's the ability to synchronize your effects between modules and even the option to configure the colors of every one of the five color zones on each module individually. I gotta be honest with you guys. I think I'm starting to catch the RGB bug here. I mean, this is great. Why not do the video card next? I mean, who needs a, a Titan XP when you can have a GTX 1050 Ti Strix with Aura RGB support? Yes, my friends. So now that the video card is color cycling in sync with the rest of my system, I'm kind of thinking to myself, the sky's the limit. Next stage, let's rip all of these power supply cables out of here. Let's clean up the old test bench, get her looking spiffy, beautiful, and maybe, ah, yes, this is a nice touch. Let's throw a couple of cable mods, RGB strips, which incidentally happen to also be Aura ready and compatible with the RGB headers that you'll find at the top and bottom of the board so we can get those synchronized with the rest of the board's lighting for some wicked underglow effects. Leaving the only standout really awful thing about this build, the Noctua fans. The performance is great, but I think the final finishing touch here has to be a couple of Corsairs HD fans. They're new RGB fans with a little separate controller module that lets you pick colors and lighting effects. 
And finally, we're done. I present to you the Linus Test Bench 2.0, which is falling apart when I do that. Now with 2000% more RGB lighting. Isn't it beautiful, my friends? So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked, dislike. If you liked, then like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our t-shirt store and our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that, you're probably wondering what to watch next, so check out our video suggestion, which will be chosen probably by Nick, because we have like a new outro animation thing. Maybe by the time this video goes up. What I'm saying right now won't make a ton of sense if it's the same old outro animation.